Ladies and gentlemen, those neither and in between, welcome to our next panel, Off the Record Again. I'm Melissa, or MCROSS07, my pronouns are she, her, and I'll be your host today. I would love our lovely panelists to introduce themselves, because no one knows them better than they know themselves. Can we welcome them to the stage? Can you hear me? All right, so where are my other pa Got Hello? Am I alone here? No, we literally just discussed this. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I just want to say we literally just discussed that we were all going to come out at the same time, but for some reason that did not translate. No, but in all fairness, they were all like, let's go out. And I was like, I don't think so. We did, we did change it a couple times, too. All right, can we get a big yeah, cheer, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How are we all feeling today? Are we doing good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Are you ready to listen to us yap for 45 minutes? <laughs> brilliant, yeah. brilliant. That's why you're here. It makes sense, okay? But before we get into that, let's introduce ourselves, okay? So, we've got some... I did make this, by the way. <laughs> Hold on, I, I just... I did skip myself. That would not be good. <laughs> Hello! My name is Amesy. I go by they, them, and also any pronouns, because, you know, gender's a funny thing, and who cares? Um, ask me about Adventure Time. No, please, no, actually, no, I really, I just really like it. But next is Gucky. Hi. So why is your quote, I love Howl's Moving Castle? I love Howl's Moving Castle. Great stuff. <laughs> there we go. Anyone else like Howl's Moving Castle here? Yeah, they have good taste. I was expecting that. Now we've got uh, Michaela Dark Eyebrows. <laughs> That well, is not an edited photo. Yeah, like, real, yeah. That's a real, that's real that's a genuine photo, photo that was not edited. Hold on. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Are you going to do it right now? Yeah. Go on then. Okay. Hold on. I got to lock in. Okay. Lock in, lock in. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That was good. That was good. That's that was crazy. good. And then we've got Ollie Heike Hate Me, the token straight friend, everybody. I didn't put everybody. the quote, by the way. It wasn't me, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Isn't that the photo of your bad haircut? Am yeah, I that right? was my mum that cut that. Yeah, yeah it no, was in I... lockdown, and I never trusted her again to do it. No, I think it... I think it's good. I think I think it's yeah. great. And yeah. last but not least, Shelby Shaba. <laughs> Hello. I want to know what depths you dug that photo listen, out of. Listen, okay. When I was listen, when I was making this PowerPoint, I was like, what is the best images I can find of everybody? And. I, when your outfit is on point, I just, I have to. Come on, everyone. My favorite it's thing true. is that it's watermarked. Yeah, no, someone made that, and they were like, the best thing about it, someone made that, and were like, if anybody steals this, I need to make I sure. I want like, credit. They were proud of that, and I love that. Look. They're going to copyright you. They're going to be like, yeah. er, er. Oh, no, no, don't say that. Now I'm going to check my direct Next slide, next slide. They're, they're all, all going to be like, oh, I didn't give you permission to use that. I'm like, oh, uh, damn it. All right, here we go. So. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Off the Record is basically a panel where we talk about our interests because obviously you guys watch us, okay? And we get to know so much about you guys and you guys get to know so much about us. But the fun thing about this panel is we get to go into all of our interests and we get to just have a nice little conversation about it. And the best thing we're going to get into so far and to start with is gaming. So everyone, what is your most played game so far of this year? But I'm going to expand this question. So also just, what is something you've done the most where any media? So what show have you watched the most this year? Well, movies, you know what I mean? Gucky, if you say Delicious in Dungeons. <laughs> oh my, I like the lighting in here. It's really <laughs> Wow. <laughs> if we're talking about game, probably Stardew Valley. Yeah. If we're talking about media in general, Delicious in Dungeon, purely because I've watched the show. Are so there any other any anime fans here, by the way? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 But it's just I always ha I've watched it through so many times. But then I'll start cooking. And I'm like, oh my god, do you know what I should put on right now? Delicious in Dungeon. <laughs> Every single time I go down to the kitchen, I just hear the soundtrack to this goddamn show, and I'm like, you know what? Yep, she's having enrichment time again. I went down yeah. to the kitchen, and she was like, "Don't come down here. You haven't watched this far yet." No, literally every <laughs> single every time. Every Thursday, I'd lock the door to the kitchen and be like, "Do not come here." It's my time. I don't know. I can't even live in my own house. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Michaela? Um. Okay. I. Okay. I'm a little. I'm a little abnormal about the about these three shows. But I have like these three, four shows that I have in rotation, which is Station 19, which is over now, which is really upsetting. Grey's Anatomy, 911, and The Rookie, and I watch all four of them on rotation every single night. And I need more episodes. Like I need. Like I'm. I'm like I need it. I need it. Like, what about games? Games. Uh, I think I know the answer to this one. Fortnite Festival! <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I ask a question? What's your most played song in Fortnite Festival? That's a good point. 
Do you think it's Master of Puppets? It could be Master, Master of Puppets. Master of Puppets. Two X, two X track speed, Master of Puppets. I'm trying to get 100%. I was going to say, you've I been trying to get 100%, and that's, that's why it's been played that, so many times. That's literally why I've played it so many times, because Gravel has a higher score than me, and I literally cannot. I cannot let that happen. <laughs> there will be one day where I can do rhythm games. Is anybody else just really bad at rhythm games? Are you Okay, there's obviously, I feel like there's like either or, where you can be really great at them or just really terrible. Yeah, no, I'm terrible. I can't, I can't do it, man. I was bad for like three days. Gravel's Whoa! scarily good. Oh, weird flags. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Shelby? Definitely most played game of 2024 is Minecraft. Yeah, we, of course. With the new update, course. we were a bit obsessive with it. I played 12 hours straight, <laughs> and then I went to bed for six. And okay, played I just want to say your house was the cutest thing that we have. Like, we went into your house, we just explored. It was a do storage units everywhere. Like, you probably went into it. And the little heart thing you discovered with the little. So cute. So and cute. And the world is only up for 30 days, so I'm sad that we're going to have to watch that go. <laughs> it is very oh. sad. It is very sad. What is your favorite thing about the new Minecraft update? You know what's funny is that the update made me obsessed with playing Minecraft again, but I have not touched a trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't made it that far. I'm still on the surface. I was going to say, me yeah. out. I'm like, I'm okay, actually. Yeah, no, it's like, oh, you know what? I could just build. I could just make it a little pretty house. Yeah, make it my cute house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Mine, I, I feel like everyone's back into their Minecraft phases right now, which is a great yeah. thing. It's a great game. You guys like Minecraft, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Who does Minecraft. What about you, Ollie? I, get, I was going to say, I'm like the opposite end of the spectrum where I do go to the trial chambers. And I've been, uh, it's too addicting. I'm, yeah, no, I'm the exact same. Dude, dude, oh, the trial chambers are so cool, dude. I can't. What happened when you went the first time? Yeah, it was, uh, listen, I went into the trial chambers when I first updated it, and it was great. Now I'm dead. Can't do anything now. Oh, Sad. Job. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but I just, I, the update's just great. It's, it's so, so good. Nice. It's so good, isn't it? I just love the vaults and everything They made like the new weapon, though, so rare. That's the mace, right? Because, yeah, so yeah. there's two types. There's one which you do normally. And then there's like a, you need like a bad omen effect to yeah. do it. But to get the thing to craft the mace, it's like a 2.2% chance. It's crazy. No, I rare. could do it in one. And I think there's five volts. Mm -hmm. No, there's three volts in each one. Yeah. And you can only open them once. So then you need to go find another one, thousands of blocks. Oh, it's a hole. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. thing. It's a whole <laughs> thing. These are just words. I build. I'm just hearing things, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, my most played game probably, this, it probably has been Minecraft. I have been doing a lot of that. Also, Town of Salem. Yeah. I was I was very into Town of Salem at the start of this year. I have been for the last, like, five years. Um, it, is, it is. And life is strange. Oh, who's surprised? Uh, oh. All right, let's move on. So, what are you obsessed with right now? Okay. Um, obviously... We all have little quirky obsessions sometimes, you know? We, we go through little phases, and I'm sure you guys do as well. You know, have you ever gone through something and you're like, I need to consume all of this media, I need to eat it, I need to eat it right now, or I'm going to, yeah, you got you get what I mean. Um, and honestly, with me and media, I go through d many different phases where I'm like, this is the only thing I've ever needed in my entire life, and I, I don't need to do anything else, okay? Uh, but what about you guys? Do you guys relate to that? Do you guys have anything that right now you're obsessed with, Ollie? Honestly, it's back to Pokemon. Yes! <laughs> oh. See, they announced a new game recently, and ever since then, I've been like trying to get back and back into it, and it just gets me a bite chokehold every yeah. single time. I agree, I agree. What is your favorite Pokemon? Like, your little Pokemon character. Oh, favorite Pokemon? Yeah. That's a hard choice. Why? Because there's, there's so, so many. much lore for so many. Uh, Psyduck, best one ever. I'm going to say him. Mewtwo. I, I That's what I'm going to look at. On the way over here, I watched the Detective Pikachu movie for the first time. Has anyone seen Detective Pikachu? It came out years ago. It's so good. I had to convince my girlfriend so hard to watch it. It was Eventually the ending worked. Was quite interesting. It. The ending was interesting, apparently. Yeah. They're making a second one. They really? signed a director, yeah. Oh, my God. So, yours, so your favorite one's Mewtwo, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Probably because of that film, to be fair. Really? Really? That makes sense. Um, okay, what about you, Shelby? What are you currently obsessed with? After I watched the movie Nimona, I made that my entire personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still, uh, I just think it's such a beautiful story. It's such a beautiful animation. I've bought the graphic novel. I accidentally bought it in French, so now I have it in two different versions. Don't ask. I, I did that with the Persona 5 art book. For some reason, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this in French. I can't read any of it. Well, now you're going to learn French. You can just learn French together, and then you can both indulge. Now we need to learn French. I got, there we go. I got kicked out of French in school. Oh, oh, that's Ooh, just that's really, not. that's really awkward. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> what is Nimona about? Yeah, because you haven't seen no, Nimona. I'm not sorry, I, feel like I have been just hearing words. the person to watch Nimona out of everyone. What does that mean? It's a very <laughs> gender movie. What are you saying about me? Yeah, without any spoilers. Have you seen you? 
Hey, now. I'm a straight, I'm a straight cis hat. Oh, yeah, this is the world's straightest panel. Can you go back to your pronouns real quick? No, don't go back to my pronouns. Don't look at my pronouns. Um, yeah, what, yeah. my pronouns. Don't ask me about my pronouns. <laughs> what is Nimona about, then? Is yeah, it basically, it's a kingdom um, with the, these really secure walls, and they have their knights to protect the realm from the monsters, yeah. which are outside the walls. But you never see what's out there, and you never know what's going on. Yeah. That's so Attack on Titan, Cole. <laughs> I was going to say, that is Attack on Titan. <laughs> it is just like Attack on Titan. I'm surprised you haven't spoken about Attack on Titan at all. Me, me, me indulging into my, like, honestly, me when any anyone mentions anything. Oh my god, that's so like this specific interest that is not like it at all. Oh my god, Aaron Yeager. You guys were obsessed with Attack on Titan for a while. What do you mean? Of it came out of nowhere, by the way. It came out of complete nowhere. Listen, just Beautiful. because I don't talk about it constantly doesn't mean it's not there. It's always in here. It's always Aaron there. Yeager's yep. constantly no, living. No, Ollie, Ollie's <laughs> saying that it comes out of nowhere. I feel like everything that our friend group gets obsessed with will come out of nowhere. Yeah. We'll be like, yeah. oh my god, I saw this on TikTok. We have to go watch this. Like, no, I'm obsessed. Yeah. yeah, it basically is like that, isn't it? What about you, Michaela? Um, um, okay, so I, 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 I'm so, so, so like, okay, so, okay, so, whoa, okay, sorry, words are hard. Um, I've tried to be normal about this in my brain, but I'm not normal about this in my brain, but I, I feel like I haven't put it out there that I'm like oddly obsessed with Arcane ever since we watched it. Ooh. Yeah. But like, so excited for season two. I'm really excited for season two. I remember I've we, been waiting. we stayed up in our in like a Discord VC to watch it, and the last episode was done, and I was like, see, this is why I didn't want to watch it yet, because there's not a second season, so I'm going to have to just wait. It's gonna be so I've good in November. November's gonna be so good. I'm it very is excited. November, isn't it? Yeah, Arcane is so good. It's uh, really I'm good. Scared. What about you? I wonder what you're obsessed with right now. <laughs> I <laughs> like Delicious in Dungeon. It is a very, very good it's anime. It's just, ah, uh, I just love that it's not. It, it's just, ah. Uh. <laughs> it has gay people. Senshi, and it I love Lyos, and I love Fart Sale. Save me, Fart Sale. Gucky likes gay people and food. That's basically <laughs> what, that's that what, is, that's it what it is. It combines my interests of fantasy, Food, gay people, <laughs> really good animation. Like yeah. for some reason, there's like the most random parts when they're just like, you know what? We're gonna animate this really, really well. And I'm like, you didn't need to, but I'll eat that. I'll eat that up right now. I'll I don't know that. if I'll I can. I don't know if I can say this out loud, but I will. When when I, sometimes when I come downstairs, Gucky will be like, look at this picture of of set. Oh, what's his? Of Senshi. Of Senshi's butt. <laughs> they just have our upskirt shots of Senshi, and I'm like, He's as like, hey, you up. should. Because they don't, usually in, like, anime, they always, like, focus on, f like, femin like female bodies and stuff and very much, like, fan, fan service yeah. But in this one, they're just like, you see this dwarf right here? Look at him. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking. Look I'm looking. Butt. I'm looking. I can see. I'm um, looking. With me, I'm yeah. Looking. With me and what I'm obsessed with right now, honestly, my brain is like a little gumball machine. You shake it and another thing that I like just pops out. Anyone else get that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, there is always one thing I'm always going to be obsessed with, and that is obviously Adventure Time. Uh, I, yeah, someone's got a BMO little thing over there, and I'm just like looking at it. Um, but, you know, I'm into a lot of different things. I love My Little Pony at the moment. Uh, that's very, yeah. I really, really much been getting into that. Who knew? Who's your favorite pony? Applejack. Obviously. Dude, Applejack is the best. I don't even care. Oh my god. I love Fluttershy. You do That's like my favorite too. She that makes sense. Me. We would have the same. I was gonna say would, you would, would have would. the same. No, but my little pony's really great. I've been getting into that as well. It's just it's it's good, you know. It's nice to indulge in a little bit of media. But we're gonna get into the next one. Your favorite multiplayer game, and I'm gonna also extend this question again. What is your also just your favorite kind of media to enjoy with friends? Whether it's a TV show, whether it's a movie, whether it's like a game, anything, okay? I'm gonna start with you, Gucky, this time. I'm gonna say I really like, it's simple, but I like Among Us with friends. It also, just stresses me out, it I'm stresses gonna be honest. me too much. It's I fun. get anxious now. I'm in the poster, I'm so no, worried me. But I also, literally love Among Us until yeah. I'm in poster, and then I'm like, yep. I don't wanna play anymore. I don't like lying. Right now, though, Smash Bros has like Ooh. eaten me alive. Okay. And I've just, I unlocked all the characters on Amy's Switch. And I'm so good. <laughs> I, my mains are Pac-Man and Villager, but specifically the Villager skin where the hair is like, goes up into this, the, the stupid looking one. Because I want people to see me selecting a stupid looking character and be like, oh my God, no. Be really scared that I'm just gonna beat them with this really silly little guy with a net. And I just think it's funny. It is. It is good. Yeah, it you is just good. kept catching me. We had like a mini tournament <laughs> like the other week. You just kept catching me. And I just hit you with a turnip. It just has and it's like just the just like, like you know, bug net. Plant a tree. It's just Your character makes me so mad when you play fire. Smash. Has anyone here ever played Smash Bros? By the way, <gasps> you know what is his name? Ness. Ness. I. So I'm like I. I obviously I'm not very good at Smash, but I am very good at spamming buttons. And uh, Ness. Uh, so yeah, okay. annoying. And so obviously the thing with the Ness character, if you can spam fast, oh, you are good. 
good. And like, I just keep spamming and it just goes PK fire over and over. And everyone I play with is like, Amy, I swear to God. And I'm like, sorry. This is great. What about you, Michaela? What's, a, what's something you like to do with people or favorite game to play? Okay. <clears throat> sorry, my voice has been like going, you guys. Um, so, what? Oh. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I really like, okay, we played a game a couple months ago, and yes, it made me really sad, but like, A Way Out, I played with Ollie. It was so was good. So it was good. so good. The ending, I'm not going to spoil anything, but basically you like break out of prison. It's like this it's like one. a two split, like <clears throat> split screen. Yeah, like split uh, screen co-op game. What's that game? other game? The it Takes, it takes, it takes Two. two. That was it's literally It Takes prison. Two, but sadder, more sad. It, it wasn't for the most part of it, and then it gets to the end, it's just... Heartbreak. Both endings, oh. you, will, you will just be very upset no matter what. We watched what, the other one game. afterwards, and the other one was actually more sad yeah, than the one that we yeah. watched. You're like, oh. It's really, it's really sad. Open but ending games are so depressing, like, yeah. especially when there's multiple ones, because you're like, what did I do wrong? I just want everyone to be happy. That's all it I was want. not happy. It's not realistic. Everyone was though. not happy. You think that's not realistic? No. God, God, no. can a girl, can a girl want happiness? No. Okay. Whoa. You said this is your favorite. I, I said yeah, like as of right now, it's one of my favorite. <laughs> as of right now, yeah. What about you, Sophie? <laughs> I was gonna say it takes two. Which yeah, is amazing. that when everyone is playing happy at the end. It takes two. Except I will the say. Elsie is gorgeous. Okay, spoilers oh. for it takes two real quick. If you want to just quickly block your ears, Let that me. elephant scene. Oh, oh that's my insane. god! That came out of nowhere. Oh my god! It's, it's okay. tragic. Just raise your hand if you have played it takes two. Or, you've or seen someone. it takes okay. two. Okay, that elephant scene. What the? Who? It's why so would they sad. Do that? It's it was such a happy, cutesy game, and then suddenly. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of context. It's like it is. It is. It's like. That's goal. That's goal of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> my Why character. would you do that? Yeah, even they, they just pull apart this little stuffed animal guy. Limb by limb. Terrible. Very Awful. slowly, you see those like stitches ripped. And then he's screaming, and it's like, oh my god. Oh. It, it is, it is genuinely, oh my god. What's funny is me and Amy are currently playing It Takes Two. <laughs> currently, we've been playing it for like a year and a half. <laughs> like, we play it slowly. Still um, haven't finished it. Yeah, but I played like the first half of the game with my sister, so I knew what was coming up with that part. And when me and Amy got there, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and Amy was like, what is going on? And I'm like, keep going, keep going. See, uh, I thought surely they were going to fix him by the end, but they didn't. No, they, they just did don't. nothing. I, yeah, I, still, I don't even know what happens at the end. Me and no. Michaela played yeah. it ages ago, yeah. and I remember watching both of our streams back, and both of our faces are just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really like, like, a, a game, a game is gonna be good. A game is gonna be good to be. Or like when the daughter was like, My mom and dad are still asleep and they've been asleep for God like a week, and she's like, Yeah, they're yeah. really yeah. tired. Coma. Like, <laughs> coma. <laughs> okay, what about you, Ollie? I love Fortnite. Really? I love, <laughs> I I love, love Fortnite. Fortnite. We all do to be fair. We well, not, not as much Fortnite. this we season. All don't. They changed this season and they essentially made they added like weapons to cars. So you could have a machine gun, you could have rocket I hate the launchers. New ruined it. Actually but ruined it. It's not. It's a different game. So it's it, you get to the end of the game and everyone is just driving around with rocket launchers, firing rocket. Launch, whoever's car breaks first. It's not fun to play. The thing is, no. we are not normal about Fortnite. At least me and Ollie, we are like yep. the most toxic people. I have like three hundred <laughs> hours in Fortnite and I've only been playing it for about six months. It's so good. Whoa. Yeah. No. I, it's it's so I have good. an issue. But you I don't like Fortnite once. So fun. Good job. Did you win? No. They oh. did add a new game <laughs> mode though. They added like a. As it was soon called, as like, I reboot. leave, as soon as I leave, they're like, "Let's add OG back," and I'm it, like, "Well, I'm going to leave for two weeks." I haven't so, even played it. So yet. good news, it's not that good. It's like you, it's <laughs> good 40 news, players. It's terrible. They made it 40 <laughs> players, and if you die, you respawn if your teammates are still alive. But the thing is filled with like. You guys sweat, just get in the sweat. gaming news. I hope you're enjoying I'm this. You're like, yeah. wow, <laughs> Fortnite back. The, the I love. Oh, I haven't like played. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been playing much Fortnite unless Ollie is like, let's play Fortnite, because if I'm hopping on Fortnite, it's gonna be festival. But Michaela's always like, warm up game of festival? Yeah, I'm warm like, up game. Warm up it has, it doesn't warm me up at all, it's just pressing buttons. And we always land at restored reels because Ollie used to do this thing where he'd go, let's go, restored reel. And now it's just turned into. <laughs> it's just evolved, and it's like, we just make sound, we're just like, <laughs> and that means he wants to land at restored reels. Honestly, with the games and stuff like that that I really enjoy doing with friends at the moment, honestly, you guys know Jackbox, right? You know the game? Yeah. It's true. There's a specific game mode that I love, which is called Role Models. Um, if you guys <laughs> don't know which one that is, Role Models is the one you basically got to psychoanalyze your friends. And it's stupid questions where it's like, Kevin. 
Kevin. Yeah. Michaela's it, now Kevin in our Discord. Yeah, so basically, though, like, those stupid questions that you've got to, like, assign people to, like, Simpsons characters and stuff like that. Like the office And characters. it's just, it's such a fun game to play with people, especially people that you're meeting for the first time, because you get to just be able to see, like, how they see you in a way and, like, silly little prompts. And I don't know, it's very nice Good to play. Breaker. It's very nice to play, like, Jackbox games with friends. It's one of my favorite things to do. Also, just watching. I like the t shirt one. Oh, TKO. <gasps> that one's a good one. I also just love watching, like, making my, like, my favorite thing in life is when my friend comes to me and goes, Amy, I want to learn about Adventure Time. <laughs> a spark twinkles in my eyes, and I immediately pull up the Wikipedia and also my PDF document of the best important <laughs> lore episodes, and I'm like, sit down. Every time someone approached you, and they're like, I want to learn about Adventure Time, and you're like, okay, what do you know? And they were like, Princess Bubblegum is bad. Oh, we don't talk about that, we don't talk about that, we don't talk about that. Dude, I literally stood there for like 15 minutes. The shock end. hit you. You're like, that was a bad time for me. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, though. <laughs> this pit is a bit silly. I need you guys to prepare for this. I thought, why not bring a bit of whimsy into the presentation? Please prepare. Is this the part we had to close our eyes for? Yes, it yeah, is. We had to okay. close our eyes. We, we also Intuition don't know the test, answer. everybody. Okay. Uh, Look up here. Are you guys locking on an answer, okay? Should we all, all right. claim one? You can, okay, you can claim one. Who are you guys claiming? Yellow, dark green. Red. Uh, the black one. Okay. You guys have got one too? Don't change your answer. I know if you're cheating. I can, I'm looking. All right. Ready? I'm going to give you guys three more seconds to see if you got this right. Three. But some of you that are like actually are praying, you're like, oh God, I'm really into this now. All right. Oh, we'll give you $100. drum roll, please. I'm joking. Three, two, one. It was that one. I was going to say black. Uh, I was like, no, let me go against the grain. <laughs> Wait, who got it right? Did anybody actually get it right? Good job, yes. guys. Good job. Sorry, I just really thought that would be funny, and I think that was funny. Was, was that funny? Guys, stop it. I Nobody's laughing. Why is nobody laughing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was funny. One character in media that does not get enough credit. <laughs> Please don't ask why the annoying orange is there. Um, I looked at hated characters in media, and the annoying orange are there, and I was like, there's gonna be at least three people who know that is. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, Ollie, we're gonna start with you. What is a character in media that you genuinely just think like, Oh, he's just a little guy. I'd probably say Hera from Area Unknown. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any Area Unknown enjoyers in here, by the way? I'll say, girl. That's going to be like, yeah. wait. Two wait, hands wait. is crazy. Raise your, okay, it's been gone. Hold it's on, hold on. Raise your hand if you know what Area Unknown SMP is. Uh, just oh, know about it. Okay, that's a couple of people. All right, okay. Right, yeah. carry on. I would say, there's this one, going back to Pokemon, there's this one guy called N who's like, from black and white, oh, 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 he's okay, just right. a little guy. He's a, he's like the leader of like the bad team that's like always like capturing the Pokemon. But he's like he was adopted young and he was raised with like all the like captured Pokemon. Mm. So he grew to love Pokemon and wanted to like free everyone. But his uh, his adoptive dad basically tricked him to become the leader and was like, yeah, we're gonna free all the Pokemon. But his plan was so no one else could have them. He could have them become a dictator. So he kind of just got manipulated along the whole way. It's so sad. But he's like he's like a 20-year-old kid, so he doesn't know that it's happening. I, I have a fun fact. So N was one of my... Do you, uh, do you know when you're growing up and you're like, oh, I have a crush on this character. So N was one of those first ones for me, but I thought that they were a woman. <laughs> right. Well, no, it Thank makes you. sense. It does make this sense. This sense. <laughs> What about you, Shelby? Do you have any characters that you're like, like whether it's a game or whether it's in like a TV show that you're like, I don't know, little baby, I don't know, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh, me yeah. then, that's crazy. No, no, Mona gets all the credit. I feel like- No, I mean like, would you protect? I would protect. But <laughs> Shelby Look, just said, I, so just see, Shelby's like, I would protect them I would <laughs> Like, <laughs> really? No, I have a different answer to this, but it's the only thing that I could think about. Go on, like, what is your- what A is character your? that doesn't get enough credit. Back in Minecraft, Mm -hmm. There used to be the animal, the killer bunny, that was a real thing that you could okay. potentially come across in the world. And I think that that fear of that could, that could happen to you at any point while you're playing the game in doesn't life. get enough credit. Or in it's real like life, Brian? any white bunny you come across could come and kill you. Yeah, it has oh. like red eyes and will attack you. I it, it was a real so part of the game, cool. but I've it's not. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we don't get enough credit. That's bloody terrifying. It was very rare. <laughs> well, they're hot. I never found the bunnies because they jump around yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, that's tiny. true. That's true. And they're strong. They will kill you. They, they're very strong. One hit. Why am I scared now? Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh. You should, should be. Oh. One by your feet there. Oh, don't, don't say that. Michaela, what do you think? My nipple. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think is a character that doesn't. <laughs> nipple, nipple. <laughs> no, I'm green. You said her. You, you were like, your feet are right there. So I was like, nipple, nipple. Feet? 
Amy, sorry, this is off topic. On the plane, on the plane, I was like, I'm gonna send you a picture. And Amy goes, if it's your feet, I'm blocking you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, what anyway, does that say about the topic? What does that say about you? If the minute that yeah. you say I'm sending you a photo, I you say please don't be your feet. Uh uh, you sent me a photo of your reason. socks saying Marge Simpson is going to be messing with whoever is sat in front of me. And that's why I said I was gonna send you feet pics. My bad, that Sorry, cool not at the TwitchCon panel. <laughs> Welcome okay. anyone walking in. Uh. Yeah, let's do it. What is, what is one character that you think does not get enough credit? Okay, I will change my answer if nobody knows what I'm talking about. Who here has seen the, uh, 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 Dragon Ball Z at any of them? Awesome, what? so I'm gonna change my answer. <laughs> raise, okay. your, raise your hand if you've seen Dragon Ball Z. Like, no, uh, that's, like five It's more than Ariane, no. <laughs> more than Ariane, no. <laughs> We've been inactive, it's fine. Um, okay, in that case, I'm going to change my answer to, has anyone here seen Grey's Anatomy? Okay, there's more Grey's Anatomy, so I'll just do that. Um, Lexi Gray from Grey's Anatomy does not, does you not gotta, you get the credit she deserves. You got to clap for that. That was no, great. Like, right. That's a good answer, yeah. Like, like okay, like, all spoilers aside, like, like, she didn't get along with her sister until the very end. Her si Like, she never even learned that her sister cared about her until she, like, basically, oh, I don't want to, spoilers. This was. Who doesn't care for spoilers? I can. If you care for spoilers, go, la, 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 la. <laughs> When she died, I was actually so upset. <laughs> what happened? Oh, nothing. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Was that the show you made me watch in voice chat one time? That, so remember the musical episode? I, ha I <gasps> had never watched I'm, it. And I Michaela's like, I'm going to show you Grey's yeah, Anatomy and puts on the musical. I'm so confused. <laughs> all right, okay. What about you, Guggy? Okay, so another thing that I've been obsessed with for like the last like, two months is One Piece. Um, I've recently gotten into it. I'm currently on like episode 168, it, which in two months I feel like is quite good. But I feel like I have not seen anyone speak about Vivi from One Piece. She's a, a really good character, and I don't want to spoil anything because I want people to watch One Piece. But even if you've seen the live action, she's coming up in season two, I think. I think it's getting to that point. But she's a cool character, and I really like her. And I had not seen anyone speak about her, and I like her a lot. Yeah, 100%. So Mob from Mob Psycho. Of course. Right, we are going to have to speed up the next part portion, and then we're going to have to get straight into the question. Yeah, been so if you, if you guys keep in your brain right now. Don't go to the question thing yet, but have a question in your brain, okay? Not yet, though. Just keep it in there, so then when you get up there, you don't go, oh, I don't know. Lock okay. in. Ready? Lock so, in, guys. Last question. We're going to have to speed through this one, okay? But... What is one thing that you would currently change about the gaming space, or just the space in general? Because obviously we're in, we're in a time where there's a lot of hatred going on uh, everywhere online. Uh, and it's a bit terrifying to be a creator right now with a lot of you know, reasons and also just you know, the rise of people being openly bigoted online. It's, it's terrifying and it's scary. And I wanna know, when it comes to you guys, what is one thing that you would like to change? We'll start with Ollie. It's honestly, it's it's so, there's so many communities that are just so hateful. And it doesn't, because I feel like we're in like a Minecraft bubble, obviously, and we don't see it as much. Yeah. It's still, see, but it's like every now and then you'll see on Twitter, like from a separate community where it's like, it's just a complete different moral set. Yeah. It's just so strange to see. And it's just, awful. yeah. It's just awful. But it seems such a hard thing to change. Yeah, I agree. Shelby, what do you think? Uh, I can really only think about how when I started doing this, and I started doing this a very long time ago, what I wanted to change about the space when I got started, and it was that I didn't feel like I had a, a place in the world uh, as a little girl, and I wanted to make a space where everyone felt like they could be themselves and be comfortable, and that's what I would like to see more of in the gaming space. Mm -hmm. I'm changing my answer to what I protect. It would be Shelby Shovel. Yeah! <laughs> behind me. I'll get behind me. <laughs> what do you think, Michaela? Um, okay, so I feel like this is more so not even necessarily gaming but just in general whether it's in media on tv on film in general i feel like lately i've seen an increase but not like enough i want more like poc representation mm -hmm. yeah. like i feel like as a kid i was always like you know when you like character selection for example i feel like now games are getting a lot better we're like growing up as a kid i would have to pick like a white blonde girl to play as because there were never like any like and there was no there were no color there was no color representation and i think that it is so cool that there is starting to be more, but there's definitely not enough. Like there's still way off. There's still there's still so much more that we can we can have. I feel like we just need more, just more representation for people of color. Honestly, hundred percent. What do you think? I feel like people just need to be more mindful, focus more on themselves. You know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of people get lost in like what other people are doing. 
and stuff like that where I feel like you can just focus on yourself and what good you can do. And I feel like that is what will help a lot of things in every space. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're focusing on, like, like, say, for example, a bigoted person, like, and they're focusing on, oh, uh, this person's gender, yada, yada, yada. Focus on your own stuff. <laughs> You've got a mortgage to pay. <laughs> Get your own stuff in order. Yeah, I agree. I think, honestly, the gaming, I think a lot of people online and creators online right now, they think, for some reason, they're more comfortable being bigoted. And they're more comfortable talking about the views that they have, which are just terrible views. Yeah. And honestly, we should make them afraid again. <laughs> we should, yes, we, should we, let's scare them. Oh we need God. to make them afraid of putting these views and, and, and things out again. Because there was a time where I feel like it was very, very okay for these people to not be that open because they were like, oh, I, you know. They're getting too comfortable. They're getting like too comfortable again, again. And that's why we need to be loud and more proud. Uncomfortable. I want to yeah. be able to use Twitter again. Yeah, exactly. I I've, yep. I've not had Twitter installed on my phone for the last, like, eight months. Yeah, I think. people, people are... Terrible, and also even worse, some creators are the ones that are doing this. Especially yep. that's, on that's what I was yeah, kind of trying to allude to. No, no, on, on different platforms and stuff like that. Like, I mean, it's just, you know, I want to make these people realize, you know, they can focus on better things and trying to get interactions from like their mortgage or mo their bills. Or their that kids. is a good fight. Oh. But yeah, I hope if you're here right now and you've ever interacted. Like hobbies, maybe? Yeah, if you're here right now and you've ever interacted or you've ever seen stuff like this online that is basically people attacking you for your identity or who you are, I hope you remember these people are only attacking you because obviously they technically believe it's either an easy target or they just hate themselves that much that they have to go against people Real. who are already not deal like dealing with too much. And they suck, okay? We're much cooler, okay? Yeah. So, so I just like, remember that, okay? You guys are all completely good doing what you're doing. And if anyone tries to put you down for that, just say, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Just go my go pay your mortgage. My friend Amy says, shut up. <laughs> okay, now we do have a question time. This is gonna have to be very quick because we did yap all the way to the thing. Did we? Oh, did? No, yeah, we're 40 minutes in right now. Really? I think. Oh, if I'm, are we it's 11.01. When do we stop? We have 15 minutes. 15 minutes? I lied. Okay, okay. Right, that's good. We have enough time for questions, Ellie. All right. Um, Should we do questions? No worries. I was wondering what you were talking about then. I was like, the, my clock says something different. <laughs> um, I, okay, so I'm looking at my clock, and I've got 40 minutes done so far. But I think that may have just been when we were like... I think that's from when the yeah. presentation was just up, ready. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, all right. All right, no problem. So if you guys have any questions, we've got two microphones at the front. Um, well, not the front. Um, down the middle. Um, please let anybody who wants to access them first with um, any mobility issues in first as well. Um, just to make sure. And uh, you are more than welcome to have any questions. Obviously, nothing invasive or anything personal. Um, please line up with some questions. We'll get through as many as we can. Nobody gets up and we're all just like sat here like... Like, <laughs> like anyway, guys, how's <laughs> yapping? Yeah, I was going to say, I just start asking like my own questions. Like, so guys, what do you guys have for food today? Like, like, what, do you, like what do you guys think? Oh, airplane oh, like, food, am wait, I right? Like, like, eat! Oh. Why are you not feeling good? What's wrong? <gasps> no! Oh. No! Oh no, gamer! <laughs> if anyone missed that, they were saying that they're not feeling too well, but they couldn't miss the panel. Silly, silly, silly. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh I didn't know. Oh my god! Oh my god. Terrible flights all, all around. Right. Let's get into the question. Oh wait. Thank you for helping, gamer. Yay. Legend. If if you could live in any video game world, what would it be? Because like. I'd want to live in Stardew and be an NPC because then I could get the farmer to pay for everything I do. So it's like, <laughs> it's like get the rich to pay for everything. Okay, should we go down the line and, and say? All right. Uh, I would honestly, if, okay, if I was being transported into the world and I get everything that's going on in that world, okay, so not even just an NPC, I'd probably go into Life is Strange. Not just because I love it, shut up. Um, just because I think it'd be really cool to have those powers. And another one, probably Night in the Woods, just because... Okay. I would love to see what kind of little animal I would be. Yeah. I think that'd be. You so like to just see an arm on the floor. Hey, man, it's crazy out here. <laughs> what about you, Guck? No one knows this game, but I would love to go into fantasy life. <laughs> I love fantasy life so much. You were pushing the fantasy life <laughs> agenda. No one knows what it is, but there's a new game coming out, and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but I'd go into that. Yeah, yeah. I just like the vibes. Michaela, Genshin Impact. Ooh. <laughs> Respect. It's pretty. The characters are pretty, and they all have powers. What more could you want, Shelby? Uh, Animal Crossing, because I would yeah. I would immediately become a homeowner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. 
And what about you, Ollie? Answer. The first thing that comes to mind is probably cyberpunk, because it's oh. just so... Just because of how pretty it is. That, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I thought you were going to say Pokemon, so I did this. I also thought... Also, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon White. Well, Pokemon, Pokemon White is just New York. It's just... It's yeah. just new. Most of them are just based off, like, real places. Yeah. Like Gravel Pokemon. like falls and why. Gravel like falls through the ceiling. He's like, New York? New York. New York? <laughs> Thank you for your Big question. Apple. All right. Hello, gamer. Hello. <gasps> you got the CMZ plush. Yeah. Adorable. Mm. What can I, what's your question? Um, hi. So I know um, Michaela's all already briefly spoke about it, but what's something that you like love to see represented in media? I know when, for me, when Shirley from Doctor Who was introduced, I lost my mind. She was, she's a wheelchair user, and I genuinely cried over the TARDIS being made wheelchair accessible. Like, So, yeah, I just wanted to know what's one thing you like to see represented in media. That's a really good question. Mm. Honestly, I'm, I'm a big fan of, obviously, I love seeing trans characters and queer characters because, I don't know, I like seeing characters. I also very, I like seeing characters with ADHD. Because I feel like ADHD, yeah, I feel like, obviously, I have ADHD, and I feel like ADHD is a very misunderstood um, mental, me like, like going, thing going on. And sometimes it is very upset in that I'm like, hey, it's not just about this one thing. So when there are characters that have it, I'm like, yeah, let's go. That's, that's so me cool. <laughs> like, it's just very cool. What about you? Asexual characters, but re represented accurately. Represented accurately yeah. and not just made to be like a... Like, that, like against like not thing. like made to be a joke because I feel like there's a lot of people like there's a lot of like making fun of asexual representation I'm like no just do it it's easy to do it's yep. easy to do what about you Michaela I get really excited whenever there's like a, um, a main character in a movie or a tv show that is a person of color and they aren't like a, a, a stereotyped side character in a room full yeah. of white people. Yeah. Stereotyping these type of characters yeah. is so annoying. Yeah, like when there's like one black girl who's like a side character and she's like, she's got the box braids and everyone's like, oh, fried chicken or like anything that's like s funny little stereotype for a TV show. I like when it's like there's a main character that is like represented and they're like a really well-made character. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, it makes me really happy. I get really excited. Yeah. What about you, Shell? I was going to say asexuals. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I don't. Say exactly. I can't think of any video game characters. Oh, I can think of some in media, but video it, games were lacking. Yeah. Um, I saw that. Uh, this is gonna be Arrow Ace, but Sonic got confirmed. I think to be Arrow Ace. Yo! We got another Yo! one. My Arrow Ace King. Yes, King. I think that and uh, anxiety. I like to see more. Like, yeah. yeah. Anxiety shown in characters. What about you, Ollie? My now, token uh, strike. I'm quite represented. I <laughs> guess. Yeah. I could say. Good uh, answer, boxes. So, but I just love seeing, like you said, Doctor Who is like. It's so cool seeing how much Doctor Who. Oh pops. yeah. I, don't, I haven't watched it, but it, I just see it pop up. Ah. Oh. Doctor Who they're is so good at it. So, so absolutely at brilliant at what they're doing at the moment, especially with the new season. I don't know if anyone here knows Jinx Monsoon. Obviously, yeah. Jinx Monsoon, Jinx Monsoon's character, she was amazing at it. Like that, like oh my god, absolutely Seen incredible. Edits of them. Genuinely, absolutely beautiful. Doctor Who, shout out any Doctor Who fans here. You guys, you guys, you guys have good media taste. <laughs> Thank you so much for your question. All right, we're gonna go to the back and then we'll go to you. Okay. What's up, gamer? Uh, yeah. Um, my question is, what's your favorite evolution? Evolution? Ooh. All right, Ollie. Oh. <laughs> You've given a good question to the boy over here. You stunned my brain. I, I know my answer. Go on. Yeah. Um, it was Umbreon, but I was trying to get an Umbreon and it accidentally got an Espeon. And now like Espeon's Espeon. my favorite. I like, I oh, love I like Espeon. Well, Espeon's mine and I answered first, so. But I like Espeon, so. Me, 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 me. I call Sylveon. I was yeah. going to say, Sylveon is probably what it is. Sylveon. I like Espeon. Sylveon is the trans colors. Hey, just because I'm... I'm no, 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 no. I just, I just, because... Are you stereotyping I, me? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Sylveon's I mean, ribbons check. are made of flesh? Oh, I like that yeah, one. That's a real that thing out of Never mind. I like, honestly, they're all pretty. I love them all. They're all you know cute. we're due another one? What? We're due another evolution. Because oh. it's it's been like over 10 years Why? since they last released one. Oh, wait, 10 years? Yeah, it's been a long time. One. They released the original. One. Sylveon yeah. was the last one, which yeah. was in... Michaela, are you Chill. Googling? I think. Is it X and Y? I think. Wait. As someone who has literally only played that one Pokemon game on the Switch, I like... Sylveon? <laughs> What is that? Bulbasaur? <laughs> you went to read Bulbapedia. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that Eevee. I like the, um... I like the one that is a Pokemon. You know, I really one. like Sylveon too, guys. Yeah. 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 Is, that okay? is that a good answer to that? <laughs> Thank you for asking your question. What about you, Gamer? What's your favorite song? Songs? Yeah. 
Oh, don't now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm terrible. Delicious in Dungeon Ooh. opening one. <laughs> Shelby. I've yeah. been playing on repeat, girl. So confusing. Lord, Featuring oh my Lord. God, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Lord. Lord and uh, Charlie X. E X. Oh my God. Yes. Ollie, what about you? There's one song called uh, "Exit Music for a Film" by Radiohead. Yeah. Oh, it's so of course, good. Of course. I've been waiting to use it in some like Minecraft lore because it's so perfect. Yeah. What about you, uh, Michael? Right now. Okay. This literally changes every day. So if you asked me tomorrow, <laughs> no. Shelby just, Shelby just whispered to me, is somebody going to match my freak? <laughs> somebody going to match my I would like to say Specifically that Hagrid edition. <laughs> no, the, the no. Reason, the reason that I am losing my voice is because I keep walking around going, is Sorry. somebody going to match my freak? And that's literally why I'm losing my voice right now. Um, no, this changes every single day, but like right now it's uh, Budapest by George Ezra. Ezra? Ezra? That's a good song. It's a good, it's bad. What about you? Oh, you don't no, 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 opening one. Theme. What about One Piece, English opening? Oh, you see, I would. Oh, the rumbling from Attack on Titan. Rumbling. <laughs> I'm not good with music. That's fair. So I'm I'm a big fan of music. Um, <laughs> uh, my favorite songs of all time are always going to be Twin Size Mattress uh, by the Front Bottoms. Um, I also really like February Fifteenth uh, by Hobo Johnson. Uh, also Alex G. Uh, basically his entire discography. But I also really love No. I love. Um, I, I just love Alex G in general. I'm a big fan of music. I can sit here all day. <laughs> when Thank you. Kaiju by Hillwood is also good. Yeah. Okay, I think, how much time do we have left? Uh, we have five minutes. Should we do, how speed many questions run? do you think we can get? I on? reckon we can fit in three questions in all there. Right, However, yeah. speed afterwards, run. we may have a little bit of loitering, so just not too, you know, like, don't, no stress out too much, I'm just saying. Yeah. So we'll go through about three <laughs> more questions, if that's all right, but we're going to have to... We're going to speed run through them. We don't have any speed runners in here, but we're going to try and speed run through some <laughs> yeah, of them. Right, use those skills. Hi, I want to ask if any of you have a special interest in like when uh, hobbies or things like that, or a hobby that you really want to get into. Oh, good question. You guys? Crocheting. I was going to say oh, that. I was going to say crocheting. I oh, said it first. Okay. Ah. My mommy taught me how to crochet when I was seven, and then I just never picked it back up because I never had the time. Okay, Ollie, speed run. What do you want to get I into? I think I got the straightest answer in running I got into. Oh. <laughs> I got in, well, it was because during the Tubathon, we did like a, like a football, but we were in giant bubbles. Everybody and was out of shape. heavy as well, but everyone was so unfit. I was like, I've got to get fit, man. I can't do this next time and not be able to run. What about you? It's something that I am getting into, but I'm teaching myself how to animate. Mm -hmm. So Animation's cool. Uh, I want to get more into, I do photography, but I want to get into videography at the moment. I want to start like trying to film and stuff like that. I've been having a good time doing that. But yeah, thank you so much for your question. All right. Hi, I just wanted to ask, you know how there's that trend that like people are like, this artist wrote me and this artist wrote me. Which artist do you think wrote you? Ooh, which artist wrote me? The writer of Delicious in Dungeon. <laughs> She's a brilliant writer. You can't do anything over here, can you? Um, what about you guys? Are there any, is there any artists that you're like, no, this artist wrote me. Like, this, the, I, I was, like, made by this. I wish I was written by Ghibli. Oh, yeah. That's answer to that question. There's nothing. There's birds chirping in my head. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, your hair is nice. I what about you? your hair. Thank you. So pretty. Hmm. Cooning Fox. He makes the Pokemon songs. I don't know. But you said gooning. I heard gooning. I hear gooning too. Sorry, I don't know if we can talk about gooning. Can we talk about no? <laughs> I would I would actually change my answer to Toby Fox. Oh yeah. yeah. The creator of, he made Pokemon uh, songs too. The Night in the Woods soundtrack. Uh, the Night in the Woods soundtrack. That made me. Okay, yeah. we'll do one more question just so we can get enough time for people to also leave as well. Thank you so much for your question, gamer. What's up? Hi. Uh, so my question is, if you could have any superpower uh, from a random character, doesn't matter if it's a movie or a video game character, which one would you want? Okay, everyone have it in your head. I'm just going to say the one word and go down, okay? <laughs> Got it? No. Okay. Okay, Gaki, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious and dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, that's three words. I love... <laughs> Ready? Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, rewind time. Yeah, I'm ready. What is your, what is your, <laughs> oh, mom. I said rewind time, like mom. Okay, you go. <laughs> oh, I think rewind time is in like, <laughs> <laughs> I would choose mob's powers. Okay. Like Fly, I'm lazy. <laughs> Teleporting like from Jumper. Yep. Tracer from Overwatch. Yeah. When I said rewind, I'm, I'm, assu I'm, glad, I'm assuming you guys got what I meant by that, Max Caulfield. Okay, yeah. great. All right, I think that's pretty much I it. I think that's all for today. Woo. However. <laughs> 
We do have one more thing on here, I think. So. Yeah, we do. We do yeah. have one more thing. We do? There's a bonus, bonus thing bonus. at the end. So, we do know there's, there's probably people watching from home right now. Uh, if you are, I'm so glad. Hey. You, I don't even know how you'd is watch this, it. Is I this think, the thing that, that we were just going to walk off stage and say nothing about? <laughs> no, because we we have to sit here and then everyone leaves oh. and then we don't, we're gonna have to just sit here. We'll sit here. Okay. Yeah, we'll sit here. We walked off stage leave. and said nothing about it. All right, it. guys, the area known finale is coming this August officially. It is officially Woo! ending. <laughs> so, if you want to get involved before it ends, make sure to catch up. You can catch up in many different ways. Gucky, there's, a, there's a card on the area known. Gucky spent a lot of energy page. making a card for everyone to catch up. If you want to catch up on the SMP before it ends, definitely do this August. So, thank you for listening. Woo. Thank Hope you so you much. Can I get a raise of hands um, from our panelists who will be loitering after the panel outside? There we go. So if you guys have any more questions to. for the next five, ten minutes outside of the panel room. We're loitering. It's okay. legal this time. We can do it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Will we put our right. hands up for loitering? Me and oh. Shelby have sadly got places to be, yeah. but... Okay. Should we do hands up one more time just because okay, there was a lot okay, of confusion? Okay, I did. All right, okay. Loitering <laughs> outside with the panel. With it now. Not understood. The next five, ten minutes. So if you have any further questions or you want to take some pictures, there you go. Thank you so but much I, for today, everyone. Before Thank everyone you. moves, everyone stay still. Do not get up. I'm going to take a selfie. Okay, sure. Don't <laughs> move out of your seat. Nobody move. We did this at VidCon and everyone sprinted to barricade. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever witnessed. Nobody, it was Nobody like a get stampede. Hurt, so we're going to take a selfie. Everyone's going to stay in their seats. Otherwise, I will cry. Stay. Okay. <laughs> Get in it as well. Okay, hold on. I don't know what, the, what do I do with our mics. Oh. Um. Everyone smile. We're all gonna look smile. Um. If you, by the way, if you're faceless or anything like that, I would recommend either just looking down or maybe just hiding your face. Um, I'll probably be posting this on Twitter, so I just want to give that quick uh, thing. So I don't want anyone to be in it that is uncomfortable. Okay. Eat. All right. Okay. Let's put our mics on the thing. All right. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Oh wait, we're putting mics down. <laughs> Yeah, we you call her that. As long as I